lot of cool changes in Quickly and Natty. And I'm going to demo a couple of them real quick. So uh, let me start by creating a project, which of course is still the same. You quickly create Ubuntu application. And I'm going to call this application boof, which doesn't mean anything. So quickly goes ahead and creates the application just like it always did. Um, but you can see a designer has contributed some nicer logo, nicer branding there. Um, just like usual, the application launches. You can see it's in uh, Unity, so it's using the global menu. Everything's perfect there. I'm going to go ahead and quit the application and move into the booth directory as usual. And the first thing that I'm going to demonstrate is the some integration between Glade and Quickly code and how that's been made a bit easier. So first, I'm going to use Quickly Design as usual. And this is just going to be a sample application. It's not going to do anything useful. What, what it'll do is take uh, some input from a text entry field. It'll take the entry from the text the text entry field and then when you click a button it'll pop that up into a little prompt dialog. So as usual the first thing I'm going to do is click these these boilerplate uh, UI elements that I don't need and then I'm going to um, select the window itself and I'm going to give the window just a little bit of size just so it's a little bit easier to see in the demo. And then I'm going to put on the, the, the widgets that I need. So I'm going to put on Entry 1. This is going to be named Entry 1 automatically. And I'm going to put on another one that will automatically be called Button 1. And I'll tell Button 1. just I'll give it a label here. I'll call it Click. OK. So there's my my UI is designed. This is where you're going to type in something. You can click and it'll prompt it. So now I, let's go and edit the code and I'll show you that I can do do all that without going back and making any more changes in Glade. So I used quickly edit to open the editor as usual and now I'm going to go to the boof file which is the name file that runs. The first thing to notice when you look at the boof file is how much less boilerplate there is now. Uh, th most of this has been moved into a base class for your project. So that means uh, it's m the, the file now is only about 50 lines instead of like uh, it's 65 lines instead of the 150 lines that it used to be. So it's a lot easier to figure out where to where to start programming. So the first thing that I'm going to do is show you how um, the, it's a bit easier to connect to signals now. So I wanted to respond to that button click event, right? So first I'm going to import one of the, the things that I need. I'm going to use imp sorry, from quickly import prompts. And this will bring in some helper classes from Quickly. That will make it easier to just pop up UI. Now I'm ready to show how to, re how to attach to that button click. So um, all I need to do is name this method in a special way. So the name of the button that I want to connect to is button 1. And the name of the event that I want to, the signal that I want to connect to is clicked. And then I just write event at the end and then give it the normal signal handler. Okay, now notice I haven't gone to Glade and told it to use this. This is just going to work. Now, the next thing that I want to demonstrate is that it's a bit easier to interact with the widgets. Instead of using the builder like you used to have to, there's now a object on the window called UI. And in that object, I can just directly type the name of the widgets that I want to use. So the first thing I want to do is make a message to show. And the message is going to be what's in the entry field. So I'm going to say self.ui.entry1.getText. So that's going to be um, really easy now to just refer to the um, widgets that you made in Glade. Okay, I'm going to give it a title, which is going to be boof, the name of the app. And then I'm going to 
um, just pop up a dialog using prompts. I'm going to use an info dialog. So prompts.info title message. Save this file. And now when I use quickly run, the app starts. I can type in whatever I want here. And when I kick, so it was able to pick it up. So, as you can see, just by naming this event, by naming the signal handler, I'm able to pick up the signal from the button click event without having to wire it up in Glade. And just by using self.ui, I'm able to access the entry, the text entry. Um, I don't have to use the builder object. Pretty cool and a lot easier.